Hi there and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. Never mind 10 days, there's certainly a lot to cover in the next few days as Storm Barbette arrives from the south, bringing wet and windy weather to many parts of the UK, but exceptional rainfall to some parts of the UK. Eastern Scotland currently under a red warning because of the truly exceptional amount of rain that we're expecting through the rest of the week. Now, I'll be covering that in the next few minutes, but I'll also be talking about how the weather patterns may change next week. And to understand how the weather patterns may change next week, first we have to look at the bigger picture, how the weather patterns are behaving at the time of recording. You'll notice this powerful jet stream coming in from the Atlantic and sitting to the southwest of the UK. That is the development ground for areas of low pressure, including Storm Barbette. But also another branch of the jet stream pushing to the north of the UK that's swerving around an area of high pressure that is sitting stubbornly over Scandinavia. It's a blocking high and it is indeed blocking the passage of these areas of low pressure from moving west to east. They're becoming stuck over the UK, in particular Storm Babette as it arrives during Wednesday. It becomes stuck and as a result we'll see a tightening of the isobars and this relatively unusual wind direction coming up from the southeast. And it's that persistence of a strong and in places gale force southeasterly wind combined with the moisture that Barbette is moving in to the UK that will see a heavy and persistent spell of wet weather for eastern parts of the UK and in particular eastern Scotland. Yes, it rains a lot in eastern Scotland in October, but this amount of rainfall that we're expecting later this week will be truly exceptional. Let's play that sequence forward. Here's the rainfall sequence through Thursday and then into Friday. So this is Thursday afternoon and really the brighter colours there indicate where we've got heavy rain and it just persists across eastern Scotland. Caithness, but more especially Aberdeenshire, Angus as well, especially over the hills, but not entirely. And uh, it's really going to mount up over the next few days. Further south as well, there'll be some heavy rain at times, especially on Friday. We're covering that in a moment or so, but let's focus on the wet weather across northeastern parts for the time being. Now, Wednesday's been a soggy day across the southern half of the UK, but as the persistent rain sets in to the northeast, this is how the rainfall will build up through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and into Saturday. So by this stage, this is the four day rainfall accumulation. And what you can see, the blues are anything less than 100 millimetres, anything more than 100 millimetres covered by the brighter colours here. And what you can see is this area across parts of Aberdeenshire and Angus where it's more than 175 millimetres of rainfall. How does that compare to the average for the time of year? Well, this illustrates it. Basically, this is a percentage of the October average Wednesday to Saturday's rainfall totals. Anything that's white or blue is the October rainfall or more in just four days. And the darker blues here indicate where we're going to see twice the October rainfall potentially in a four day period. So really exceptional rainfall amounts. Now it's going to be wet across western Scotland, parts of Wales and the southwest as well over the next few days, but only a fraction of the October average for these areas. It's eastern Scotland, northeast England, through the Pennines, into parts of the Midlands and southeast England there's going to be some heavy rain on Friday and that will mount up as well. A strong percentage of the October rainfall expected by Friday. Northern Ireland also eastern parts seeing some significant rain on Wednesday. But it's this area that we are focused on because this is where the greatest risk of significant and severe flooding will be. A red area covering parts of Aberdeenshire and Angus where 100 to 150 millimetres is expected widely during Thursday and into Friday, so 24 to 48 hour period, and in places 200 to 250 millimetres. And that is a very exceptional amount of rainfall in that period of time. Serious amounts of flooding. Stay tuned to uh, Met Office forecasts and warnings, of course. If you're leaving the house, if you're traveling, make sure you pay attention to road conditions. And if you're in any areas that could be affected by flooding, make sure you uh, take action to protect yourselves and others. Now, 
it's not just the rain. Of course, the rain is the biggest concern, but wind as well. Here's the wind gusts as we go through the next few days. Initially, it's a blustery setup across much of the UK during Thursday and into Friday. But the strongest winds are expected across the north and the east of Scotland, central Scotland as well. I think 60 miles an hour widely and in some places 70 mile per hour wind gusts, for example, the east coast. That will exacerbate those impacts from flooding because of leaves coming down, blocking drains and also the saturated ground, meaning that trees will be more vulnerable to coming down. And also the northwest of Scotland, just to the uh, west of the higher ground here, you can see 80 mile per hour wind gusts. It will also be blustery, increasingly so, on Friday across the east of England with 60 mile per hour wind gusts possible in places. And you can see how the strong winds continue into the start of the weekend with this area of low pressure sitting across eastern parts of the country. Now it's that low as we begin Friday and go into the weekend that is subject to some uncertainty at the moment, in particular the position of this rainfall. A lot of computer model runs have it further east than this simulation. Either way, a wet spell is expected on Friday across southeast England with the risk of 50 and in some exposed spots, 75 millimetres of rainfall. Now, the October average rainfall in the southeast is lower than eastern Scotland, so this would potentially be close to October's average rainfall. But as I say, a lot of uncertainty in terms of the position and the intensity of that rainfall. And subsequent bands of rain pushing north during Friday into northeast England and eastern Scotland later. So the track of this low, slightly different in different computer model runs, and as a result, the track of various different bands of rain and showers. So by the time we get to the weekend, there is an increased uncertainty about where we're going to see the heaviest of the rain. Either way, the general theme is that bands of rain will swirl around the low, affecting again eastern parts of the UK, but not as heavy as Thursday and Friday. Elsewhere, it's blustery, it's showery. Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, Southwest England, Wales, seeing quite a few showers, a lot of cloud, and it's turning colder through the weekend as well as that low shifts north and we pull in more of an easterly or in some places a northwesterly. Skipping forward to Sunday and it's again unsettled. We've got low pressure in charge moving through the North Sea. Spells of rain or showers circulating around that low, but the rain not as heavy or as persistent as this week. And there will be some brighter interludes coming through in between the showers. But like I say, it's going to feel a bit colder in places compared with the next few days. Low pressure then moves away, and actually this is quite significant. The low pressure does move into Scandinavia. The high pressure that is blocking things over Scandinavia finally gets a shift on, moves elsewhere towards the east, and that does, into next week, allow areas of low pressure to progress from the west. And that's an important difference because this here shows you from the European model the uh, pressure anomaly, so the difference from average for this week. And what you can see is this higher than normal pressure over Scandinavia, lower than normal pressure to the west and the south of the UK, and this tight gradient. That's why we've got these southeasterly winds persisting and an awful lot of rainfall. Fast forward, well, not fast forwarding yet, because we've got the precipitation anomalies for this week shown here. And if we zoom in, you can see much wetter conditions than normal for northeastern parts of the UK, which indeed is what we are seeing over the next few days. But fast forward to next week, and we've lost that higher than normal pressure over Scandinavia, or at least it's pushed northeastwards. That allows low pressure to move in from the west and more of a west or southwesterly airflow, and that changes the distribution of the rainfall patterns. It's still likely to be unsettled through next week, but the wettest weather will be more focused over western parts, which is more typical for the UK for this time of year. So just to run through a few of the most likely weather patterns for next week, this is Tuesday, 31% probability, but other uh, less likely weather patterns look very similar to this. Low pressure moving in from the west, high pressure over Scandinavia edging away eastwards. And so basically, if we just skip through these, We've got low pressure moving across the UK. We've got strong, occasionally perhaps disruptive west to southwesterly winds, spells of rain once again moving in, but affecting different places more than the next few days. So more western and southwestern parts of the UK than eastern and northeastern parts of the UK.
but there is still the potential for some wet weather just about anywhere. Then into the following weekend, 28th of October, we've got those low pressure systems moving through. That would generally mean brighter skies, still some showers, still quite a blustery wind, feeling a bit colder. And is there any end in sight? Well, this skips forward to the end of the month, Halloween, most likely weather pattern further lows coming in from the west. So once again, the wettest conditions and the windiest conditions across western parts and southwestern parts of the UK. So an awful lot of unsettled weather to come. Yes, a lot of it is typical for October, but the exceptional amounts of rainfall we're expecting over the next few days in eastern Scotland, not at all typical, could cause big, serious impacts. Stay tuned to all forecasts and warnings.